All right, technical difficulties have struck once again. And I don't know what happened, but uh, my app completely closed out. So we'll try this <laughs> one more time <clears throat> right in the middle of that pack. Let some people come in here. Horrible te technical difficulties tonight. I'm not sure what the hell is going on, but uh, we've got some people in here now. What the bloody hell is going on tonight, Paul says. I don't know what's going on, man. It's just like my app literally just closed out for no reason. My phone didn't die. I have full battery. Stan Belinda, Robin Ventura, special edition this pack. Julie Davis, I don't know what is going on. Danny Cox, that burly handlebar mustache. Then there were two. Freaking haggard, man. Boggs leading us off in this next pack. We lost everybody. What was that? Uh, what was that one channel? Southwest Briggs. <laughs> Where he pulls that like card? <laughs> it's like the first time ever live streaming. I expect this on my channel. Corey says. Tony Pena. Dante, what's happening, man? He says, hey man, I don't know if you remember me, but me and you talked to the Unitown Card Show. We definitely did, man. I bought uh, bought several cards off you. I have them sitting right next to me. The Bowman Holiday, Otani, Tatis, um, Tops Holiday. Appreciate uh, you giving me a nice deal on those. Um, definitely some nice cards for my PC. It was nice to talk to you too, man. And check this next one out. We got a pretty big hit coming up here. Nolan Ryan, Salute Special Edition. Brian J. That's pretty freaking awesome, man. Probably one of the best ones you could ask for out of Series 1. Very, very nice. Bernard Gilkey follows right behind... Dante says, I saw Eric a little later in the day. Yeah, Eric said he came out there. I think he bought that one of one off you, didn't he? Very, very nice. Uh, Nolan Ryan, special edition. Turk Wendell and Russ Springer ends that pack. <laughs> there is no escape from Bernard Gilkey. Brian J, pretty awesome stack so far. The final pack of this stack. Of course, that's the best card in that set. Yeah, it looks like we lost pretty much everyone with the technical difficulties. I don't even know what happened. Usually when the app closes out... Um, it, when you open it back up again, it will ask you if you want to resume. And this time it didn't do that. It just freaking completely knocked out the live stream. Louis Polonia. Dave Hollins was pumped on him several years prior to this. The 90 traded set. Man, that was the hottest card. It was like two bucks in Beckett. And definitely in a screw down case. Adoro Perez. Charlie O'Brien. Dave Fleming again. And it looks like we have another Hall of Famer special edition come up in here. Barry Larkin, the regular base card this time around. Paul Ossenmacher, Andy Ashby, Rob Deere, I think, who was it, Todd? That's the ultimate Rob Deere collector. And Tony Gwynn special edition. First it was Ryan, now Gwynn. Very nice. Very, very nice. 330 cards in this uh, particular series. So pulling those Hall of Famers in that parallel is pretty difficult. Mark, Mark Wallers, Phil Clark, and Domingo Jean. Gene, I can't even remember how to pronounce his name, but I was definitely hyped on his 92 Bowman rookie card at one point as a kid. Brian J, the stack is in the books. All the Braves caused too much excitement. Yeah, I don't know what happened, man. I just got kicked off. The final stack for Mikey G is up next. I don't know if Mikey G is in here or not since uh, the last failed live stream, but uh, we will get right down to it. We have another box to open. 12 people saw the best card in this set get pulled. I know, that's unfortunate. Trevor Hoffman leading us off. Mikey G, good luck to you, man. Hopefully we'll find you some Paul O'Neills. I don't know if he's in this series or not. Hoffman, Jeff Russell, Roberto Mejia, Charles Nagy, Tim Leary, Otis Nixon for Danny, Pat Henkin, Marquise Grissom. Dominator's coming up. It looks like it might be a... It is. Ken Griffey Jr., Beautiful. Beautiful. The last stack, it was the Spirit of the Game Jr. And now the Dominators with Raul Mondesi leeching on to his back. Very, very nice. Probably the best card you could pull out of that set. 9 out of 10. Congrats to you, Mikey G. Mikey G is in here with a 99 cent sticker emoji. Glad of you to join us, man. And uh, I hope you're pumped on that. That's a pretty awesome one. like that set a lot. Mondesi, Henry Rodriguez, K. 
Ken Ryan. I love Aaron Seeley for a second. Alan Watson. And check that out. John Wetland, Juan Gonzalez Special Edition. All the big names are coming out in those parallels. Donald Harris, Rondell White, and Benji Gill for Paul L. There's a link to Mikey G's channel. And Brent M says, hi, John. Hope you had a nice fourth. Brent, thank you very much, man. Really appreciate you joining us. Thank you very much for that. Hope you had a nice fourth as well. I didn't really do a whole lot. We did go watch, uh, tried to watch fireworks. Um, we went to watch fireworks. They didn't start for like 45 minutes. And another Griffey coming up in here. They didn't start for like 45 minutes, so we left and went to Sheets to get food and then just sat at Sheets and ate in the parking lot and didn't watch the fireworks at all. So, but it was still a good time nonetheless. Ruben Sierra, David Cohn, Larry Lubers again. Creeped out by that guy, Mike Stanley. Appreciate that, Brent. Randy Mulligan, Roberto Mejia, Eddie Taubensee. I used to hate him for really no reason. Brent's car break says, hi, John. Brent M is me. I was on my other channel. You know, I was kind of thinking that, Brent, but I wasn't sure I didn't want to say anything. It's sounding like a weirdo. Brent's car break's in the house. Check him out. Corey, if you can link Brent's car break's channel. Really appreciate that, Brent. And check this out, too. Griffey Jr. Diamond Kings. Freaking sweet. Back-to-back -back packs. Beautiful. Rod White says the box is fire. This definitely is a fire box, man. For sure. The box topper was the numbered bonds. Multiple Griffeys now. Beautiful. Mikey G says sweet. RJ says just got your package, John. Can't open it for a few weeks. Going on a vacation soon and pre-recorded a bunch of videos. Nice. I look forward to that. There's a link for Brent's Card Breaks channel. And Brent, I should have something going out to you here pretty soon, man. I appreciate uh, the nice package that you sent my way. Tom Osborne, and now Will Clark Special Edition comes out. Very, very nice. Yeah, please uh, take a minute, click on that link Corey posted, and sub up to uh, Brent's Card Breaks. And join him for his weekly Tops Rips. Manny Ramirez, Ray Rookie, I always liked that one as a kid. Sam Luce says, nice card, worth dough. Yeah, definitely uh, you struck the jackpot on this stack, Mikey G. Got four packs left of uh, the first box. Then we go on to Series 2. <laughs> Corey, Phil Krueger, Palmero, Chuck Knobloch, Doc Gooden. And first time seeing Sandberg tonight. Rod White says, I love that card. Will of Thrill Clark, that was a nice special edition. We got really lucky in all those ones. We were seeing a lot of uh, kind of, I'm not going to say bums, but less desirable players in the beginning and then all the big names started coming out mark mclemore phil clark greenwell move on <laughs> some says i might not be able to troll your channel next week i might be taking a vacation that's sad man pat boulders looks like he's about to get knocked out that bad Louis aquino Larry Anderson and Cecil Fielder Special Edition. Was that another Larry Luber? <laughs> it was, man. Jose leaned after he betrayed me and left the Buccos. John Franco doing his little shimmy. Made all the women in New York go crazy. Omar Olivares. And then there were three. Still trying to recoup from that outage. Charlie Liebrandt leading us off in the next stack. Pat Borders used to be in here all, all the time. <laughs> Do we have any inserts coming up? A little bit of stickiness, but like I said, uh, no paper loss. Definitely dodged a bullet on that one, Jody Reed. John Franco looks like a failed bullfighter. <laughs> I like that. It's a great comparison. Bob Patterson, Mike Stanley, Chuck Knobloch, Ron Gann again, Rondell White, rated rookie, Paul Ossenmacher, Castillo, Kevin Seitzer, Thigpen, Steve Sachs. And Eckersley now, special edition. Very nice. Brent's Carbrex says, is there any elites this year? There are elites. The odds in a regular pack are uh, like 1 and 216, but these are jumbo packs. So no odds listed online regarding these. Brad Pennington. And there he is, man himself, Chris Sabo. Love it. Final two packs of the first box. Smoltz leading us off. I really can't uh, really can't ask for much more out of this box. Definitely delivered. Smoltz, Carse again, Bill Gullickson. 
Jose Montez says, I remember these as a kid getting them for the buck, for a buck. I definitely used to buy a lot of these, man. And first time seeing Mike Piazza, though. <laughs> Sabo 666. Piazza and Sandberg back to back. Very nice. Sabo always does show up in these boxes. Always. And so does Plunk. Shane Mack, Carlos Hernandez, Ken Ryan again. Kind of looking, I don't know. The distinct look to him. Mike Harkey. There's Paul O'Neill from Mikey G. Very nice. Not sure if you have that one or not. Honeycutt, Jeff Conine, Willie Banks, and Sheffield is now a special edition. Ken Ryan looked high. He definitely did, man. Ed Sprague, Kirby, and Damian Easley. Nice Paul O'Neill for your PC, Mikey. Atep, thanks for hanging out with us, man, and everybody else who popped in here on the, after the first failed miserable live stream. Jose Mesa leads us off. There's 20 cards in these packs, Rod. Almost Taco Bell time. I had Taco Bell once today, but uh, sometimes once is not enough. Actually, once is never enough when it comes to Taco Bell. <laughs> Taco Bell causes the man to Mike Harkey, Ventura, Dave Justice, Carlos Baerga. There's Robin Yount. Hal Morris. Very menacing look on his face. Marquise Grissom standing next to him. Galkson again, Blast Miner, and a Mike Piazza. Spear the game. Very nice. First Griffey, and now Piazza. Fourth car this insert set. Beautiful. Beautiful. The odds for the for these ones, it looks like... 1 in 12 packs. Yeah, that's the magazine odds. Somewhere around there, but that's definitely... Got a good stack, man. Hebe Brooks, Chris Hoyles... And there's our beloved Charlie Huff, literally crumbling to dust as he follows through Bud Black, Brett Saberhagen, and it looks like we are hitting a slump now. Mickey Tennelton is our special edition. Aaron Seeley would have been pumped on that back in the day. Jerry Hernandez and Gibby to end Mikey G's stack out. Very nice. Joe Filipowski Jr., what is happening, man? I see Joe changed his channel name. First box is down in the books, leading us to the second box. Casey missed it in the beginning. This was our exclusive box topper from the first box. I don't know, out of 10,000, I mean, bonds. Very nice. Scotty Arms. Thank you for being here with us, man. Put this back in its sleeve and rip into box number two. Yeah, I had some technical difficulties, Joe. In the middle of the the last live stream that I started, it just literally kicked me off the app. And we had to start a new one. It kind of sucked. Lost everybody. But uh, slowly regaining them. Juan Gonzalez on the top of this next box. And we've got some gold packs this time around. we got Jugger... Actually, John S. starting us off here. The top left. <laughs> Technical difficulties is tonight's theme. So, I didn't crack the plastic off of these ones beforehand. I just assumed that they'd probably be alright. Box topper is hiding down below. In this next box. But, Frank Thomas and or Donnie Baseball. It would be very nice to pull one of those out of our checklist here for Series 2. Who is it going to be out of 10,000? Look at that. Donnie Baseball. Beautiful. 3191 out of 10,000. Freaking awesome. Love that. Very, very nice. These are the what, 3 by 5 I guess. Very nice. I was worried we were going to get a freaking... Well, I guess all those names are pretty good, but I prefer the Thomas or Mattingly over everybody else. Very, very nice. Donnie Baseball box topper. Love that. Boom slangs in the house. What's happening, man? Let's get down to it. John S. I don't think he's in here, but good luck to you. I have not looked at the checklist for Series 2, so after everything that happened tonight, the big cat, this cord likes to call him, leading us off. Special edition. Brent says these are cool. I've got to get some now. Yeah, just be careful, man, because uh, that's what I was saying earlier. These definitely have a tendency to brick up really badly. So I took a big risk buying these, maybe because they're jumbo packs. I don't know. But we have, looks like we have... Two inserts in this next pack. 
very, very nice. Galarraga Special Edition, Brad Holman, Daryl Whitmore, if you remember him. Bob Hamlin was uh, quite a name back in 1990. Mark Lewis, Brady Anderson. Finally get to see some new faces, like Brian Harvey's gnarly handlebar mustache. Paul Ellis' encounter a girl wearing a Thrasher shirt today. <laughs> Ask if she knew of Andrew Reynolds. Nope. Oh, man, that is epic. I would not expect anything else, man. That is so ridiculous. I love that so much, man. That is awesome. Dave Martinez, we got two special edition cards in here. And the next one is Greg Maddox. Check that out. It's freaking awesome. We got lucky. There's supposed to be one per pack. And the professor shows up. Very nice. Do not disrespect the Raleigh Finger stash. He definitely did have the best one. He was in a league of his own as far as that goes. Jane Moyer. Andrew Reynolds is... I don't know. I think he's the best of all time. I think he always will be. But uh, that obviously is open to discussion. Padre Rodriguez. Andrew Reynolds has been my favorite since I was like a little kid. Spear of the Game, Lenny Dykstra. And we got Bonds following that up. 10 of 10. Those cards are really nice. I like there's a lot. Junk Wax out. What's happening? Bonds. Dominators. Beautiful. Griffey in the last box. And a couple other ones. And now Bond shows up. Seventh card of the 10 card insert set. Very, very nice. John S. Not sure if you're a fan of him or not, but nice addition to your PC, if so. Penny Feather. Andy Van Slyke. Mickey Morandini. Scott Roughcorn. Ray Rookie. And Gary D. Sarcina. Not a bad way to start it off. I have a 96 top set that I had to gently peel apart. And 95 tops is pretty bad for that, too. I know we did, uh, or I tried to do a 95 top rip a while ago and ended up with a, uh, it ended up with the Al Martin card being bitten. <laughs> I was pretty pissed off that night. And then Dirk Remington took it and made it into a thermos for me that I drink Zevi out of frequently. But that was the end result of the 95 tops rip from a while back starting off with dean palmer limited edition billy ashley joe's card corral i'm sure you remember my obsession with him he was always my tony two team mitch webster mark clark dante bachette kevin rogers greg gagne and larry walker special edition we're getting all the hall of famers and big names Maybe it's two per pack in these in, in series two. I don't know. The first box it was only one per pack. Buddy Groom, <laughs> the best laugh from his parents' basement. It was Big Mac, nice one there. First time seeing him. Jeff King, Leo Gomez, Livingston, Steve Bedrosian, Butch Husky for Cheswick. I'm sure he'd be pumped on that. McNeely, Sean Flaherty. Tom Kramer, Julio Franco, and Juan Guzman. Mullet alert. Yeah, definitely. Moving right along, this next box. I can get a clean rip on some of these packs so I can save them like the true hoarder that I am. Buddy Groom, haven't heard that name in a long time. Me neither, man. And Lou Whitaker, our special edition card in this pack, but keep going the way we are. We were. We should have another one. Rich Rodriguez, Darling, Tom Gordon, Bill Wegman, it's Pudge Rodriguez again. Dances. You know you got a sweet stash if you can rock one and not look like a job molester. Donnie Baseball stash is pretty sweet. That is very, very true. Rumor has it, Julio Franco is still playing. Definitely a nice, sweet Lou there. Clemens checklist. We got Drebeck. And yeah, he's seen the two per pack in Series 2. Winfield is the special edition this time around. Very, very nice. And Donnie Baseball base card. Nice follow-up with that one. Doug Jones, speaking of sweet stashes, he always had one. Mark Guthrie. <laughs> Looks like a meteor is about to strike. Dave Myers says, what are the chase cards in this set? Primarily just insert cards. There's really no notable rookies in 94 Donruss. Chuck Carr. Fernando Valenzuela, but I found them. I thought they were a decent price. And um, I liked these a lot as a kid, and I have not really opened them since. Todd Froworth. <laughs> Bob Walk for Joe. Shaved his stash off for that one. And David West. I heard David West was a, kind of a big deal back in 1989. <laughs> Dave Winfield was practically traded for a dinner meal. Funny thing about Dave Winfield is that he actually owned 18, was it 18 Burger Kings? Franchised them. 
still have that random fact in my head from when I was a kid. And I had like a, what was it, like an 89 Tops blow-up folder of Dave Winfield. I want to say that's like where I learned that from. Larry Boss, what's happening, man? Some of these freaking packs just do not want to give. Jeez. I think I have to pull the scissors off of these. I'm not expecting that at all. Put those off to the side because I'll probably need them. Bond special edition in the next pack. Freaking awesome. These are hot boxes. Scott Brocious starting us off. Dave Hansen. This freaking rip's taking forever because the cards are flipped every which way like 90 upper deck. Danny Schaefer. Kim Baptiste. It's a Canseco base card. Nice one there. Harold Baines. Jeffrey Hammond's raid rookie. I was definitely stoked on him. His cards were worth a lot of money back in the early 90s. So we have two Bonds in this pack. Dykstra covered in feces. Bonds base. He actually was on the cover of Series 1, which makes absolutely no sense. I don't know why. <laughs> well, the point of that is, but this is a Series 1 box with a Series 2 card on the front of it. And Juan Gonzalez, who I believe is in Series 1 on the top of Series 2. Try and figure out that conundrum, would you? Randy Johnson. Checklist card of Dave Winfield. Looks like we've got Bobby Bow. He's got his big fat paycheck recently. And Larry Walker Bass. Scott Livingston. Jeff Hooson. Deion Sanders. And check it out. Bonds limited, or Special Edition. Very, very nice. Very nice. Joe's card corral. Or under Joe Filipowski Jr. says Buddy Groom was second in command in the SWO, the Steve World Order. Don't you remember, John? I definitely remember now. Steve, the Steve World Order was a uh, Tony LaRusa baseball too. Well, it was actually a newsletter, something that Eric made up. Um, in an old newsletter, the Dave Steve World Order. I, I totally forgot all about Buddy Groom being the second in command. <laughs> Joe, you should definitely enlighten everyone about the Steve World Order. I'm sure they would be thrilled to hear about it. Those newsletters were absolutely hilarious. Appreciate that. Joe Filipowski, a.k.a. Joe's Card Corral. Check him out. I know Corey posted a link to his channel. You definitely need a new video from him here pretty soon. Nate Minchie. Larry Buss says, sorry, I had to cancel my tier. Someone hacked my credit card. I'm in the process of getting a new one. We'll rejoin soon. Yeah, no problem at all, man. I appreciate that. Um, I definitely know what it's like to have your card hacked. Even before this live stream started, before the last one started, I should say. There's Wakefield. I was stoked on that one back in the day. Dave Valley. My, uh, I had to cancel my old credit card, so I owed, I owed Comcast like 300 bucks and didn't even realize it. Pete Incavilia, because I guess they were trying to pull it from my old debit card. What a pain that is. Dwight Smith. So I had to pay that up. And here we are. We're going to Mark Grace for Jason Easterling. Mark Grace collector. Also, uh, there's another who Who's the other one? I, I forget his name, but there's another Mark Grace collector as well. Jason Easterling is who I used to send all my, all my Mark Grace memorabilia to um, before I pretty much ran out. But I did just come across some more recently. Rod Bolton. Jefferson, Bob McDonald, Todd Zeal, and Diamond King's card coming up. Eric Karos, special edition. Missing Mike Piazza on that card, and he looks like he's very upset about it. Matt Turner and Gary Sheffield is our Diamond Kings. Brent's card breaks that I graduated high school with Mark Grace. That's freaking awesome, man. Wow. Did not expect that at all. It's pretty freaking sweet. Sheffield Diamond Kings and now Sosa Special Edition. Very nice. We we're getting lucky tonight. Sterling Hitchcock. Final pack for John S. In the top. Cora, Steve Traxel, Larry Walker again. And looks like we got a Buner Special Edition coming up. Trip Cromer, if you remember him. Buner Special Edition, Kevin Eckie. And there's Frank Thomas finally shows up. Base card. Very nice. Roger Pavlik, 
Show says, we were very into wrestling at the time. Eric, for some reason, made Dave Steve out to be a huge egotistical jerk. He terrorized us in the MLB. He recruited crappy players to be his followers. So good. Mike Stanton, Navarro, Incavilia, Phil Leftwich. Haven't heard that in 20-plus years. Guzman, Mercedes, Daryl Hamilton, and Cormier, the Big Hurt. It was nice to see him. The final pack for John S. Of course, Jeff Juden was involved. <laughs> he definitely was. I do remember that. I go to the top right for Joker. His last stack was absolutely, absolutely killer. The first box. And the next six packs go to him. Joker, I wish you well, man. Hope everything is good with you. Leading off, we got a Glavin Special Edition. Dirk says, I do like these packs. These are freaking awesome, man. I like these a lot. Kim Baptiste. And uh, 94 Donruss is definitely affordable. Uh, very affordable in your wallet. Rick Wilkins. Saw uh, a Diamond Kings card from him earlier and was kind of thrown off by it. Criterium Racers in the house. Lee, thank you very much, man. I appreciate that. Ron Karkovice. Check out Lee's channel. If Corey is still in here posting links or Boom Slang. Um, I know Corey. Yeah, Corey still is in here. Boom Slang or Corey, you could please post a link to Lee's channel. He just posted a video, was it today? Or today or yesterday? Conseco Special Edition. Very, very nice there for Junk Wax Sal if he's still in the house. Pendleton and Joker is actually a Conseco collector too, so that's even better. Roberto Kelly, Lou Frazier, Rick Aguilera, Leftwich again, Lankford, and Cavillia, Stahlmeyer, <laughs> Damon Buford. Looks like he's about to form a lynch mob. Paul Wagner and Rob Nen, Rob Nen rated rookie. Corey fell asleep. Conseco's another player I was surprised. Didn't have a second run with the Rangers. Criterion Racer Lee. Let me get a link to your channel up here. Since Boom Slang and Corey have abandoned us, apparently. Yeah, Lee posted a video yesterday, looks like. Check him out if you have not already. There's a link to Lee's channel. Click on that and hit subscribe. He uh, opens up and goes through a lot of older stuff like I do here. There's Boom Slang. Might be kind of a lag tonight. Thank you, um, Mickey. Dykstra. Curtis Pride. Are sample cards worth keeping, guys? Like the promos? I think so. Sean Barry, Steve Reed, Gagne, Mitchell. <laughs> Paul said it would take me three minutes to find his link. Chuck Finley. Special edition. We've got a Mark Grace base coming up. Kevin McReynolds, Dwayne Ward, David Segui, Melito Perez for Jonathan H. If he's still lurking in the background, I have not forgotten. Travis Fryman, Mike Gallego, and Milt Kyler ending that pack out. Nice Conseco parallel, though, for you. Just super relieved these are not bricked up. We have a Diamond Kings card coming up. We'll hide that for later. If my fat fingers didn't give it away already, Ryan Bowen, Louis Lopez, who's actually a pro skateboarder, Kevin Higgins, and my fat fingers are at it again. Mark Perez, Bobby Bow, Melito Perez, back to backpacks. Clemens checklist again. Seen a lot of the same cards, and they are flipped every which way, which is very reminiscent of 90 early 90s or upper deck eric Karos, john allrude special edition nice one there joe says there was also an article episode when steve threw baseball cards at or baseballs at cars while on top of the sky dome what a bastard i definitely do remember that jeff mcknight not as creepy as his 91 tops card but close enough taught or rod bolton mike moeller holy blair Kenny Malnato. Every single freaking car is flipped upside down. And another special edition of Conseco. Back to back. They must have known that you collected him, Joker. And John Allroot is a Diamond Kings. Nice year for Diamond Kings, though. I like those. And the final three packs of Joker stack. We're starting off with Jose Rijo, special edition. Flipping upside down to a very depressed looking Chris Gomez. Mariana Duncan. There's Midray Cummings, rated rookie. Ha <laughs> ha. Penny Feather and now Midray. Bobby Jones had some good years, rated rookie. Todd Zeal. I don't know why. Series 1, all the cards, most of the cards were 
flipped up the right way. There's Larry Walker. And now in Series 2, just wants to be a real bastard. Tom Candiotti, by Bo again, literally making us work for these hits. Oh, my God. That is an awful, awful face on Zane Smith. Hideous. It is worse than Eric Plunk. Wally Joyner, Special Edition, and Brett Boone. They added a little touch to it. Traded from um, Seattle. Hmm. Interesting. I totally forgot that they even did that. and did, They only did it in Series 2, I guess. Kevin Mitchell. Look at those thick thighs. Giving Galarraga a run for his money. Danny Darwin. Terry Leach, Walt Weiss, who we absolutely hated for no reason, and there is Jose Rijo. Special edition. All Roots rookie should be worth more than it is. Rod White says, I agree with that, man. Big Race is no bricking at all is amazing, John. I was thinking the same thing, man. I was definitely worried. The only complaint so far is that uh, some of these packs just don't want to rip open, but I'll take that over the ladder. He looks like a roadie for, <laughs> for Foreigner. Oh, that was glorious. <laughs> Craig Lefferts. Baines. Yeah, these... I don't know what's up with uh, the way these were cut and organized. Well, I guess they weren't organized at all. Ron Darling. Chuck Carr. I was definitely super hyped on him back in 93. Tavares. Any good signs in the background? I see Pepsi. No booze or tobacco signs. Brady Anderson, those gnarly chops. Sean Vanderwall, another name I was stoked on back then. Delgado, rated rookie. Nice one there. And it looks like we got another Winfield special edition. Got one early on the box. The first stack. Maddox base. Nice one there. There's that Brett Boone again. Cliff Floyd, rated rookie. I always like Cliff Floyd. Rick Batchelor. And we got a Matt Williams special edition now. We're getting all the uh, the big names. Very nice. Sean Vanderwall, how pathetic. <laughs> I know, right? That was my life, being stoked on all those kind of players back then. No easy way to do this, I guess. Ozzy Guillen, Special Edition. Tractual again, Rob Dibble. Pedro Castellano. McKnight, Mike Perez, looks absolutely terrified. Vanderwall, a decent resurgence with, with the Pirates. May have been in the Freak Show lineup. I don't remember that, man. Chris Jones. We got another Sosa special edition, though. It's pretty sweet. John Roper. Craig Paquette. Jacob Brumfield. Jacob Brumfield played for the Buccos, too, I think, for a little while. Maldonado. Correct me if I'm wrong. Haven't heard that name in quite a while. Sid Fernandez. And Kenny Rogers. Ending that stack out for Joker. Not quite as good as his... One in the first box, but still some nice names in there. And we go on to the bottom left. The bottom left. Ryan J, his second stack. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> and once again, this video is made possible by our unofficial sponsor, Zevia. Hang on one second, you guys. All right. Brian J., good luck to you. The next stack is all yours. First stack is pretty good. I don't remember exactly what hit, hits he had 
first time around, but appreciate all you guys for sticking around despite the technical difficulties. Leading off, got William Pennyfeather again. Speaking of old pirate busts, Wakefield, definitely not one of them. Mel Rojas, Brady Anderson, all of rude. Still no sign of any elite cards yet, though. Kurt, or I thought that was Kurt Abbott for a second there. Paul would have went wild. Kenny Rogers, Greg Vaughn. Seeing some different faces here. Trevor Wilson, John Jaha <laughs> for Paul L. <laughs> Interesting shot of him. Mike Mussina, first time seeing him in this box. Nice one. And speaking of Kurt Abbott, there's Jim Abbott, special edition. Eric Young. His freaking cards flipped every single which way. So, and Greg Vaughn again. Karkovice, Lee Smith, Pete Shurik. <laughs> Put that John Jaha in a shredder. <laughs> Tartable, Jose Guzman, and Roger Smithberg. Sounds like some sort of James Bond villain. First pack down. I remember John Lieber being highly touted. I do remember that too. He definitely was. So, I don't know why they decided to give you two per pack in Series 2 when one kind of snubbed you and only gave you one of those parallels. Angel Miranda, Lance Painter, Al Martin, was super hyped on him back in the early 90s. Dwayne Ward, the Scum Stash, Howie Lopez, and now Pocket Dominator's insert card. Very nice. Fifth card of the insert set. Ryan Bowen again. Maddox. And there's Ozzy Gian. There's wild antics on the back. And it looks like, speaking of the Buccos, Orlando Merced would have flipped out about that back in 94, I'm sure. Danny Martinez in the first time seeing Chipper Jones. Base card. Nice one there for Corey, who abandoned us in our time of need. Chris Jones. Randy Velarde. And we got another nice one coming up here. Eric Plantenberg. <laughs> Her name I don't remember at all. So many guys in this set that I just, I don't know, I haven't heard in years or just don't remember whatsoever. Randy Johnson Special Edition finalizes that pack. Nice way to end it out. Mikey G says, any 89 Fleer rip? I do have, I think I have like five or six boxes of 89 Fleer. Check this out, though. There's a nice hit. Frank Thomas Special Edition for Brian. Definitely had two good stacks tonight. Probably the best parallel you can pull from Series 2, I'd say. Very, very nice. McKnight, Chipper Jones, back-to-back. -back. Looks like uh, Mark Langston. Checklist, Drebeck. There's Conseco Base. Scott Bankhead. Surprisingly, this pack is like, I don't know, all the cards are the right way up. And check that out. Mark McGuire, Special Edition. Thomas and McGuire in the same exact freaking pack. Definitely another hot box here. Kurt, Kurt Letskanik. Gomez, Felix Fermin. Pedro Martinez, brother Ramon. Clemens Checklist, Dan Wilson. Jordan and Fernando Valenzuela. Francisco Cordova. <laughs> and then there were three. It's a pretty awesome pack there. Thomas and the big unit. Special editions. Diamond Kings card coming up in this pack. We'll save that for the very end. Jeez, with these freaking cards. Matt Turner, the Kurt Abbott imposter, Lee Smith, Galarraga, special edition again, and David Hulse, Benito Santiago, Albert Bell. I've seen a lot of Consecos, but uh, it's not necessarily a bad thing whatsoever. The gnarly chops on Albert Bell. I don't remember him rocking those at all whatsoever. John Habian. Larry Walker is like the fifth or sixth time seeing him in this box, I feel like. Jeffrey Hammonds. Gene Harris. Scott Bullitt. There's another one. <laughs> another name you probably haven't heard in almost 30 years. Jack Armstrong. Delano DeShields for Corey. And our Diamond Kings is Cecil Fielder. Pretty big set. 22nd card of that insert set. But uh, not a bad name by any means. And then there were two... Second to last stack. Eric Karos leading us off. Saw that one earlier. Buddy Groom again for Joe's Card Corral. Roger Smithberg. There's Dawson. First time seeing him in that crazy Mandela effect. 
Do I have it next to me? I do have it next to me. Pulled this out of, what was this in? I can't remember where it came from. All the videos and days blend together, but I feel like I've never ever seen that card in my entire life in all the years of ripping packs and boxes. Pretty creepy. And somebody else agreed with me on that too. Jeff Branson. Very weird. Billy Ashley, Marino Martinez. Special edition. And check that out. They pulled the 3 by 5 at the beginning of this break of this numbered Donnie, Man or Donnie Baseball um, insert. And now we have a regular Spirit of the Game insert following that up. Very nice. Those are freaking sweet. Dennis Martinez, Kevin Rogers, Tony Castillo, Todd Worrell, and Navarro to end that pack. Nice Donnie Baseball insert, though. Roger Jace, let's get a like storm going. Thanks, Roger. I appreciate that. And all of you guys that jumped into this live stream after, after the last one, unfortunately, crashed. Bobby Bo, special edition, leading us off. Billy Hatcher, Paul Carey, Sean Flaherty, Jose Batista, Dwayne Ward is our special edition to finalize this pack. And events like Eric Anthony, it's prime time, Deion Sanders. Mikey Jesus, I'll buy that Mattingly if you're interested. If uh, Brian's in here, I didn't see him, but uh, I haven't been paying a whole lot of attention to the comments because of having to flip these cards around every which way. Taking us to the last stack of the night for Mikey G. Hey, good luck to you, man. Paul also says, Eric has told a story on his channel probably six times where he was doing driving class listening to the Pirates on the radio when Rincon threw part of a combined no <laughs> I never heard that before. Final stack, the second box. Mikey G, let's find you something nice, like an elite. Starting off with a good sign, we got a Clemens Special Edition. Your first stack was pretty freaking awesome, man. And uh, this is a good sign. Trip Cromer. No uh, real, no notable omen. Scott Cooper. I might have just cursed us, but who knows. Darren Lewis. And look at that. To Greg Maddox Special Edition. I'm not sure if you got that in the first box or not. But uh, Or the first stack, I should say. But definitely... A nice one. Actually, Mikey G had a stack in the first box, the last stack. Steve Finley, Mark Davis, Batista, Sanchez, Tommy Green, and Phil Leftwich. Mike Henneman is in Series 2, <laughs> Paul says. We still haven't seen him yet. It's crazy. Such a small, pretty small uh, series. 330 cards. Dykstra Special Edition. Jeff Garner. And... No signs of any inserts in this pack. We do have a Sosa, though. Paul Sorrento for Paul L. I know how much he favors seeing him. Kevin Young used to be stoked on him. Anthony Young, Joey Cora, Steve Reed, Bolton. There's Eddie Murray shown for the first time. DH's Will Clark at that grand slam off Maddox in the 89 NLCS because he was able to read his lips. Pat Mears, Tim Salmon, special edition now. Nice one there. Rich Rodriguez. Jimmy Poole. So we have multiple Dykstra's in here. Second time seeing that one. Drebeck, after he left the Buckos, Billy Ashley and Dykstra base. Burn the Paul Sorrento. <laughs> JT, what's happening, man? And we got a Jeff Bagwell special edition in this next pack. Very nice. I feel like we pulled all the major stars and Hall of Famers. Can't think of any that we missed so far, really. Maybe a, a, a couple here and there, but that's definitely a nice one. Renee Gonzalez, Darren Lewis, Hitchcock, Derek Bell, Rich Rowland, Larry Walker. I think we saw that one earlier. Could be wrong, though. Steve Bouchel used to hate him. Pocket Bass. First time seeing that one in this box. Jose Offerman, Melito Perez again. Rod Beck, Brewer, and David Segui. Final three packs of the night. And looks like we have Brian Harvey leading us off. Brian Harvey parallel. Scott Erickson. That's another Chuck Carr. Domingo Cedeno. Jeff Montgomery. Yeah, definitely saw quite a few duplicates. There's Abbott. And look at that. Another Griffey Dominators followed by a Donnie Baseball. 
Diamond Kings back to back. That is freaking awesome. Mikey, I think you had the Dominators in the first box, didn't you? I'm pretty sure. Could be wrong, but uh, that's pretty freaking awesome, man. Back to back and Donnie Baseball. Very, very nice, man. And Mikey G is stoked on that Diamond Kings 16th card of that set. Huge thighs of Kevin Mitchell to follow up. And there's Mike Henneman, one of the officially deemed omens on this channel. <laughs> Finally shows up in the last stack. That's four Griffey inserts now, I want to say, in both boxes. Definitely some hot boxes and tons of special edition stars. I guess we didn't see his special edition um, in the first box, but oh well. Still was a hell of a box regardless. Jeff Montgomery again. No <laughs> no escape, Paul says, from Mike Henneman. Baptiste in Cavillia. Tartable. Roberto Kelly this time. <laughs> Joseph Sean had a man crush on Mike Henneman. I may have. Probably have on my Tony 2 team or something like that. Galarraga. Matt Miski for Joe. I feel like Joe absolutely hated him for some reason. Mikey G with $2 Super Chats. Thanks for the great rip. Mikey, thank you for participating, man. I appreciate you being here. And I'm uh, I'm happy that you're happy with what we pulled you. Dave Gallagher, Gary Gaetti, Sean Green, Javi Lopez, or as Joe remembers us calling him, J.B. Lopes, and Holian Tavares. John drafted him when he wasn't with a team. <laughs> I don't remember that at all, but that does not surprise me. That came back to bite him. He's he now an omen. Yeah, you definitely hated Matt Mieske, Joe. Final pack for Mikey G. Thank you again, Mikey. And you got another nice, pretty big name, special edition parallel in here. Brumfield starting us off. Hojo from the Mets to the Rockies. Archie Gianfranco. Greg Maddox. Steve Hosey. Yeah, I think 94 Don Russ would, uh, would win in a contest versus 90 and 91 upper deck as far as the awful organization of the cards. Mark McGuire, special edition now. Second time seeing that one in his box. Nice one. Gene Harris, Dwayne Ward, Eric Young. Checklist of Tony Gwynn, Javi Lopez, Tartable, and the final card of tonight's rip. Albert Bell Special Edition. So I would say uh, those boxes were definitely fire. Lots of nice insert cards and stars and parallels as well. So definitely well worth what uh, the asking price was. If you want to get yourself a box of these. I don't know if you can find these on eBay right now or not. I did see some jumbos, I think, on there. And they're around like between 60 and 80 bucks. But if you do decide to buy any of these whatsoever... I would probably try to cut the cellophane off if you're able to and check the packs to make sure the cards are loose because these are definitely notorious for bricking up. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate um, you being here. The next rip will be two weeks from now. We'll be opening 96 Summit, and I hope you will join me tomorrow night for another uh, $1 one-minute live auction. A lot of player lots, some vintage. Start that at 8 p.m. That's it for tonight, guys. Have a great rest of your evening. I will hopefully see you all tomorrow.